All right, so this will be the first video of a new series called Disc Golf Course Review. So I got my rolling bat, Zuka cart, and we're at Lenora Disc Golf Course, Lenora Park Disc Golf Course. So start off, first part of the review, walking out of the parking lot, not too far to the first hole. They have a practice basket, pretty open, nice and lots of space. So there's also, a cool thing there's little like concrete markers at like 15 feet 20 feet 25 feet at like two spots so that's pretty cool as well so putting basket is is a plus for the course that'll add some points um but i'll be doing these reviews and i won't be showing every hole but i'll show like their cool holes and the bad holes and you know what's good about the course what's bad about the course and you know, showing some of my shots on some of the holes that are cooler, if they're good. I mean, I'm gonna play like an actual round myself and I'll let you guys know like the score at the end uh, to let you know kind of how easy or hard it is. And then, I mean, if it's a really cool hole, I might throw a second shot. So I have a good shot for you guys to see on camera, but I won't be counting that to my actual score. But I'll kind of be putting a bunch of different things into it and probably putting it in like a tier list at the end. So if you think this is a good video idea and series idea, then uh, let me know in the comments and uh, we'll get started up at hole one. So starting hole starts right beside this big red barn. They have brooms at each T, the distance markers. So those two things are good. Um, they added these stones around the tees and then mulch around a lot of the baskets. So that's pretty cool. But we got a nice little downhill 277 footer to start off. All right, so I'll get my shot for hole one. Can't fully see me, but all you need to see is the shot land right beside the basket. Nice little standstill harp. Under the basket. That's all you need, first shot of the day. So we're coming up to my absolutely parked harp shot which is pretty cool because I actually aced this hole with the harp and this is the first course I've ever played. So kind of cool little tidbit there. First hole, first ace, it was my first throw of the day and came from right up there. But uh, enough about me, back to the course, which is most important. Another interesting thing about this course is that there is a random basket just in the middle of the woods that uh, belongs to no holes. So. I don't know, maybe it's a random extra practice basket in the middle of the course, but just a nice little addition to the course that I think was a good touch. Over here at hole three, we have this red barn. Like, I know, the basket's over there. It's like 50, 60 feet to the right. But have I definitely shanked it and hit that barn a couple times when I was a beginner? Yes, yes, I have. So here's a hole I actually like because it is just straight up hyzer, but if you go two inside or two outside, you're going to hit the giant trees right there and you're gonna get knocked right down and you're not gonna get up to the basket. The basket's over there on the left, right there. But, so I've been doing a weird play where I throw a putter on just a bunch of hyzer and it kind of gets it right in that gap that you need to hit. There it is, drop. Oh, almost got the ace. Right here in between a couple of the holes, we have a pretty awesome sitting area with these giant oaks, I believe. Yep, two giant oaks and then like a bunch of random benches around here. I don't really know what the placement design was going for, but it's a pretty cool little sitting area if you're waiting on the tee of this hole, or the hole right there, and just wanted to chill for a minute. Okay, so up till now, every hole's been a par three, pretty standard, can't go below a par three, so those are all solid holes. We finally have our first par four here. So uh, 362 feet downhill. So uh, let me just show you how uh, the first par four plays right here. Let me grab my uh, judge, Paige Birkus, sweet. I've dove in the, uh, into like three lakes, got a couple leeches for this disc.
do it a little wide right, but pretty much directly pin high parked. So still a little bit more left than I should have, but about 20 feet. And there's my first eagle of the round, putter putter, about a 20, 25 foot putt. That should have been much closer. Okay, so here we come to our first raised basket, way down there, and our first par five of the course. Sits at 430. It's actually, from experience, more like 450, but, you know, decent par five. So uh, maybe we can at least get there in, five, in uh, four and uh, pick up our par, hopefully. We'll see though, it's a pretty tough get. First par five. Pretty decent par five shot. So uh, not a bad drive here, about 15, eight, 18 feet away I'd say. So uh, just gonna real quick tap out this albatross. Not bad. All right, let's get the second par five out of the way. Looky there, two albatrosses in a row, never seen before. So you see this pond right over here? The only thing that it does is bring in these little devils Canadian geese they are the terror of this course their poop is literally everywhere on this entire course it is on my cartwheels on my shoes I'm sure on my discs probably that pollen doesn't even come into play at all in this course I mean on that hole it kind of does but it's like 100 feet over that way one time my cousin threw a roller it went in like right down there and then floated all it landed like upside down floated all the way across the pond and then he retrieved it but that's the only time i've ever seen somebody throw in the water here other than that it's completely out of play so here is only the second shot on the course that actually makes you throw a line the other one's just a straight back end hyzer so it's not like totally aligned but this one actually just a big gap here bends to the right down a little bowl just a nice little easy chip forehand shot. So, nice hole, but pretty generic on every course. All right, so one of the first real gap shots of the whole round. It's right up there where those three trees are. It's like straight up there, but just a good bit farther up through there. There it is. Oh, and this, uh, kind of called railroad ties right in front of the tee pad. I've hit at least two or three times. And it's like, 20 feet off the tee so fun stuff so here we have the final hole hole 18 par 3 299 there's hole one sitting right there in the distance and hole 18 is up there so you start it off downhill finish back uphill right towards the front pretty smart course design like where it loops back to the car so give them points for that then downhill shot to start, uphill shot to finish. Kind of cool, kind of cool. You come full circle, you know? So this one's much harder, it's 300 feet uphill. About four, or no, 300 foot distance, probably about 40 foot uphill. I'm gonna throw drivers to make sure I get there. Swing in, swing in, go. That's, that's pretty solid, I would say. So I just tapped out my 23 under par at Lenora Disc Golf Park. And uh, I don't want to brag, but I would say it's uh, probably, I guess it has to be the greatest round of all time when I have Paul best 18 downs by five strokes. So pretty solid round, I'd have to say. But uh, realistically, and that was all legit too. So realistically, nobody should be getting 23 under par, especially me at a course. But... I mean, it makes you feel good about yourself, so that's a good thing if you're wanting to come here. It'll make you feel good about yourself if you follow the course pars. But other than that, if you play it all as like a par 3, it's pretty solid. Um, solidly difficult, like a 450-foot par 3. That's a pretty solid distance. Um, so it makes it much more reasonable. 
but the actual course par is a little off. Some of the distances were a little shorter, a little longer than they actually were. So that also makes it hard to judge. And other than that, um, about the actual course, it's pretty generic. Most of the shots are wide open. Maybe there's an oak tree or something on the course, not even in your way, just on the hole, the goose poop. So if you park right in front of this practice basket, 18's right over there, you come out, practice basket, boom, boom. And if you park right in front of the practice basket, you're literally parked right in front of the end of the course. So that's pretty nice on the loop of the course, how it goes. I will be, but other than that, it's a pretty beginner friendly course. Solid to start with practice, like your open shots, just hitting distances or imagine the lines in your head and just practice certain shots. So it's very good for that. Good for beginners to start out, learn how to play, have fun, feel good about themselves. And that's why I started playing here. And I've practiced here a lot just because the open fields, hole seven, best, best hole for throwing shots because flat ground, like 550 feet till you get to that back sidewalk. So as long as you don't turn it over into the road, have a, you know, what the crap Richard moment, then you'll be fine. And you can throw a lot of shots out there. I've thrown like hundreds in the past few days. And so to kind of wrap this up, pretty solid course. I will be doing like a little after thing where I put a bunch of different uh, after analysis where I put a bunch of different types of ways that I want to uh, analyze how the course was. And then I'll be putting it on a ranking scale like one of the tier makers and putting on that i wanted to do like a you know kind of like a pizza review give it a 5-1 or a 7-1 or whatever on each course but it's gonna be complicated and i haven't played like a crap load of courses yet and especially not professional ones so i'm just gonna put it on a tier maker and then i can move things up and down based off of the new courses i play and expand it uh never endingly pretty much because there's a large amount of courses in the u.s and around the world so I'll be doing that and I believe that's all for here at the course and I'll give any post uh, analysis in just a bit. So what we have here is a disc golf course rankings tier list. We are going to put the disc golf courses that I play and review in the videos onto this tier list and keep adding them and adding them until we have a full list. Well, it's never going to be full because there's an infinite amount of courses, but first we have S all the way down through F and S is obviously obviously going to be like courses that are world championship ready and like the world championship should be played at each year and like other majors like the top of the top then F is going to be courses that aren't even worth the time to play they're basically just nothing memorable same as any other course that you're going to play and A through D is kind of going to be that little bit of questionable territory where not exactly sure where i want to put things but it'll move around and figure it out as we get along obviously a being better than d though so first off we have lenora park disc golf course it's very wide open that's a plus and a downfall because it doesn't make you throw any shots but it is nice for practice it's got a good practice basket there is negatives of there being goose poop everywhere everywhere i'd put the picture of the big red barn at the first hole as the lenora park picture because there wasn't really anything i could have put other than goose poop as the other alternative so i chose the barn instead and there is like a little bit of hills in the park and elevation change but nothing really too crazy and most of the shots are not memorable with not being many trees or anything in the way so i'm gonna have to put lenora in probably i would go c just because that's kind of right in the middle of like really average but i think i'm gonna have to go below average it's not f it's not like useless it's still fun you're gonna have fun out there but the course pars are off and i mean starting and finishing holes are eh. There's a couple holes that actually make you throw a little bit of a shot that are decent but most of it's kind of just 
you know, you're going out there and chucking it. So we're going to give Lenora a D, and that'll be our first ranking on the list. And we'll be putting more in as we go along. And I'm going to go left to right. Left is best, and then right is the worst. So we'll be adding that in once we have a lot more. But that's our first ranking. 